Hey guys, I just picked up the two auto 3kg electric melting furnace. Gold melting furnace. I don't have any gold, but I do have aluminum, copper, and brass to melt. So let's unpack this and see what it comes with. All right, guys, it comes with everything needed to melt metal. The melting furnace, the power cord, melting gloves to protect yourself from the heat, leather gloves, the pouring tongs to grab the crucible and pour the metal, and, of course, the crucible that you will load with the metal. So because the crucible is degrade over time, it's always good to get a measurement on the thickness of the crucible. I'm going to use a standard socket to help me find the thickness of the crucible. Also, you will need a caliper to get those dimensions. So you take the total thickness and then just subtract it from your socket. In this case, our thickness of our crucible is 6.5 millimeters. It's good practice to do this every two or three melts using the furnace. If the crucible gets too thin, it will break and spill molten metal all over the place. I would probably recommend having the minimum thickness of your crucible be four millimeters. Then it's time to toss it and get a new one. Now that we have the copper in the crucible, I'm just going to drop it into the furnace and start it. In the booklet that comes with the furnace, it does recommend preheating the crucible along with the furnace to anywhere between 300 to 500 degrees Celsius. All right guys, it's been about 15 minutes and the directions say after you preheat the furnace and the crucible, you want to raise the temperature to the operating temperature that you would like. So I'm just gonna maximize it and we're gonna melt this copper down and pour it into the mold. All right guys, it's been about another 45 minutes to get to temperature. And you can see here, there's some steam coming out of the furnace and we are almost ready to go. So we have to let that melt. And then once it's melted, we'll let it set for about five more minutes and then we will pour the molten metal. All right guys, the copper is ready to be poured, but before I pour it, I'm gonna heat up the pouring tongs with a small propane torch.
All right, guys, I got four copper casts done, but I want to mention always wear personal protective equipment. I wear this, this little hat that goes over my head and around my neck made of Kevlar. That's to protect my neck and the top of my head from any splatters that could occur. And you saw I had a splatter or two. I also wear a Carhartt jacket and you always want to make sure you're wearing a face shield. Not just little goggles, you need a shield. Because if you get a splatter of copper, molten copper on your face, you're in, some, you're in for some trouble. So definitely wear more protective equipment than just the gloves that come with the furnace. All right guys, let's open these molds up and see how they came out. All right, everyone, I cleaned these up with a wire wheel, cut off the sprue and cleaned up the edges. Uh, they all came out really good. Uh, I'm gonna show you them from best to worst. So the HM Heinrichs made, you can see this one very good on this one. Um, this one, it's still just as good as the first one. And now we're getting to the ones that aren't as good. So this one still is pretty good. Um, I don't think it's as, as well shown as it is on these two. Uh, but this one is the one that did not finish filling out. Uh, and again, the Heinrichs made, you really can't see that one at all. But all in all, guys, the two auto 3kg electric furnace did a really good job on melting down copper and allowing me to do some sand casting of all four of these. So guys, if you liked the video, smash that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Stay tuned for my next video.